What's up gamers, my name is Arbiot. Welcome to episode 6 of Black Ops 2 Triple T for tips, tricks, and tutorials. And I was going to tell you guys a little bit about this attachment that lets me do things like this for the assault rifles. Let's get started. So you may be wondering, what attachment is this? And you guys will see that it's going to be the adjustable stock. And if you guys don't know, the adjustable stock, uh, when you're aiming down sights, you do move slower, if you didn't already notice. And what the stock does, it, get rid get, it gets rid of the movement penalty that you receive from aiming down sights. And I will show you guys some testing here for, for the first half of the video. And this is just proving the effectiveness on the submachine guns, the light machine guns, and then I'll show you the effectiveness on the assault rifles. You guys will see right here I'm running it, I'm running it on the submachine guns first. That was the MP7, or all the all the gun classes have the same movement speed, so it doesn't matter what gun you have it on. But you see right here, the submachine guns have very little effect at the stock. That's mainly because the submachine guns already have a very low movement penalty from using the stock. I'm from aiming down sights anyways, so I think it's not that much. So you see right here, I'll show you guys. This is not that much of a difference. You probably won't even notice it using an L or a, a, when using a submachine gun with the stock attachment, or just using it plain. You see right here. It is a little bit faster. What it does allow you, the importance of the stock is it gives you the ability to strafe. And the submachine guns already have this ability. Like I said, you don't really need the stock attachment on them. Uh, it does make you move faster, but not all the speed. And you see right here, holy crud. It is a very good attachment on the light machine guns. You see right now, this is the LMGs without stock. And you see how slow you walk while aiming down sights. And it's very, you know, it is very slow. The slowest thing ever. And this will get you killed. And it's mainly why the light machine guns aren't a running gun type of weapon. You see right here, when I do put stock on it, and the MK48, it is a little more maneuverable. You do get a lot more movement, definitely. It's very noticeable. Not as much as the submachine guns or the assault rifles, but it is way better for the light machine guns. And if you want to be aggressive, go ahead and use it on your light machine guns as well. And just showing you guys, once again, a third, third person perspective, just because... This is exactly what the enemy sees when you're playing in game. You see how slow you are? I mean, you're not if you're in open field and you try to strafe anyone, you're gonna you're just gonna get gunned down. You know, you're a very easy target to pick off. And it's just so slow with the late machine guns. And you guys will actually see that it's pretty it's pretty slow with the assault rifles as well. And this is just showing me the stock light machine gun. Look how much faster you move. It's not that much, but it is a lot faster than originally without the stock attachment. And I'll show you guys in the second half of this video some gameplay that I, you know, that I recorded using the stock attachment on the assault rifles, because I believe you know they make them way more aggressive and way more useful when running and gunning. You see right here, it's almost the same speed as light machine guns, and it's nowhere near as fast as using a submachine gun without stock. You see right here, look how slow this is. This is pretty slow, and this is using no stock on the assault rifles while aiming down sights. And you see I'll switch out to an AN-94 with the stock attachment, look how much faster this is. It almost gives you the move, a maneuverability of a submachine gun, and it's way faster than using it without stock. And you guys may not realize it, but it's very important when you're trying to play very aggressive, you know, when you have to outstrafe people, and just moving in general, because standing still, you're such an easy target, and you know, when you're moving this slow, it's really not that hard for the enemy to adjust their aim and shoot you while you're shooting them in a gunfight. However, when you're using the stock attachment, uh, it's way easier to get past people and it also gives you a way smoother feel when you're playing aggressively. You'll be able to just move around, maneuver around objects better and it's just way more effective for the assault rifles because when you're aiming down sights, you know, your bullets are very accurate and it really allows you to just move around while shooting your accurate bullets while aiming down sights and it just gives you way more maneuverability. You see right here in this clip, I'm just going to show you after this that I have a little more I like a third person view of me strafing with and without the stock attachment on the assault rifles. It just, it's way more smoother. You see right here, it's way easier to like dodge bullets and get out of situations when you're using the stock attachment. You see right here, this is without the stock and I'm strafing in this window, like, you know, just moving around shooting people. This is without the stock. It's really not that hard to hit you. With the stock, it's not that much faster, but you're way harder to hit. You see right here, look how much faster I can strafe left and right. It is way easier and way more better if you guys ask me. And now we're getting to the gameplay part, showing you guys some really good gameplay examples of why the stock just makes the assault rifles way more better for aggressive play. 
and just it just makes the game smoother if you ask me just watch right here you see a couple clips like right there it lets it lets me move right here another one strafe to the right to kill that guy it's just really awesome it, it's a lot of fun if you guys have not tried the stock attachment on your assault rifles i highly recommend you guys do it and it's just it's really good i believe i don't remember the other call of duty games like the assault rifles being so slow so i do feel like if you do use a stock attachment the assault rifles do get way more better because if you guys haven't noticed the uh, submachine guns and like shotguns or just submachine guns in general i guess they are way more effective than most of the assault rifles and i found that using the stock attachment lets me get um it let me be more competitive with the assault rifles definitely in close quarters because of these small maps let's just look at this it's way easier to just move around and not let people escape and it's it's a lot more fun if you ask me because it's just smooth. It's very, very smooth. And you're not gonna stop, or you're not gonna be hindered by the movement penalty when you're aiming down sights. It's just a really good time. And it's pretty fun, actually, if you ask me. And you're gonna be able to get a lot of kills that you guys couldn't get because you're gonna be able to aim down sights and chase people around corners, like when they're trying to escape, like right there. Or you see another example, perfect example, right here. I would not have been able to catch that guy if I didn't have the stock attachment. And it allows you just to, you know, pursue people after running away, get you, it lets you get a better angle on them, or just lets you dodge bullets in general, and gets you up around the map. And it's a lot of fun, good stuff. I highly recommend. Once I, like I said before, it is just a lot of fun for the assault rifles, and it, I'm pretty sure to me, it makes them way more competitive against the submachine guns in these close quarters maps and these close quarters environments. But anyways, that's pretty much it. All I have for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me go. Let me know what you guys thought about the. Let me, what you guys thought about the video in the comments, uh, and give the video a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, there's gonna be tons more videos out, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a lot of fun. Trust me, it's something you have to try out in Black Ops too. Anyways, uh, my name is Arvid. I really hope you guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Really?